Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Brooke Sydney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today we are talking all about stop trying to manifest. I know that sounds maybe a little shocking or even like against what I'm talking about on this channel, but stay tuned. Um, we're going to get into it. For those of you that are new to me or those of you that have been really on this manifestation journey and would love some help, um, I offer two ways to work with me currently. I think I'm going to get rid of email coaching soon. Um, so if you are interested in that, make sure you take advantage of it. That information is listed below as well as my one-on-one -on -one option. And I have two groups of like-minded individuals that are on this manifestation journey. I would love to see you and join you in those groups. That information is also listed below. So today I just wanted to get on very briefly and talk about stop trying to manifest. And what I mean by that is that many of you are one, you're focusing so much on the 3D. You're focusing so much on the 3D. Now the 3D, and I've talked about it numerous times, is the past, is the past. It is what you have already created. It's what has been your dominant state of being. And so I'm still getting a lot of questions about, you know, trying to manifest something because of the 3D and you've been on this journey for a while. That's why I'm doing this video. Cause I feel like we need to go back to a couple of basics, like understanding what is the 3D. So whatever you're seeing um, in front of you, hopefully you're not going to let yourself continue to get triggered. And I talked about triggered recently and I'll tag that video, but you have to understand there's some basic concepts, basic laws around manifestation. Um, yesterday I talked about how you manifest what you are. So this video is actually very similar to that one. The gist of it is that this practice, this manifestation journey is actually not about trying. It's not about doing the techniques. And I've talked about that as well. This practice is not about trying and even doing. This practice is about becoming. It is about becoming the person. It's about becoming the person that has the thoughts and the dominant state and the natural assumptions of whatever desire that you are trying to manifest. It is about you becoming in line with that desire. It's about you becoming resonant. It's about you becoming it. Some people talk about it as jumping timelines. You become so resonant with the thoughts the attitudes, the feelings, the knowingness of whatever you're trying to desire that you are there. And that's when they talk about actually jumping timelines. Like you actually leave what your current reality looks like, this current 3D, your current experiences, and you have so successfully placed yourself in the imagination world, your 4D world, the world in which you create that it then gets out pictured in your 3D world, your world. So then you essentially, you jump into that. That's quantum leap timeline. Um, and I can do some more videos on that if you all are interested in it, because it gets a, it does get a little out there. But these are the simple concepts is that we're not trying to do anything. We're not trying to change the 3D from the 3D. We're not trying to change people. We're not trying to change situations. We're not trying to, you know, bring in more money or change the situation at work or change the situation with your money, change that person that you're trying to manifest or change your relationship. The only thing that you can change, and this is fundamental, is you can only change you. And when you change you, that's when everything else changes. That essentially is the concept of everyone and everything is you pushed out. So when you want to try to manifest, then you need to say, what about me do I want to change? 
what about the way that I think, the way that I believe, what state of consciousness, I've talked about that, I'll pin that. What about my beliefs, thoughts, feelings, states of consciousness need to change in order to manifest what I'm intentionally and consciously trying to manifest? Inside out, that's the game, not outside in. It's not focusing on the outside. Because another thing that you're going to do by continuing to try and do and keep checking the 3D is you're getting yourself locked into the energy of that. You're also getting yourself locked into focusing on what you don't have. And so then, again, you're focusing so much in the 3D, you're not spending enough time creating and training your thoughts and your feelings and your vibration, your resonance, your energy, your state to be in the state of the wish fulfilled. You're not living in the end. The longer that you keep trying to manifest and you keep thinking it's about the techniques or you keep thinking it's about the other person, it's the longer of you holding yourself back from your wish fulfilled. So I ask you today, Whatever you have on the 3D that you don't want, that you don't like, that you want to change, what self-development practice are you going to implement to change yourself? It's so funny. People always think, hey, you know, it's about changing that other person, especially when manifesting an SP or it's about, you know, trying to get someone and so forth. no. Manifesting an SP, just like manifesting money or manifesting a job, is really changing yourself and your ideas and feelings and thoughts and states around it. It really is. This is an inside out game. That's why when you put yourself back on the pedestal, that's what we talk about. When you put yourself back on the pedestal, meaning you start focusing on you, you start focusing on your self concept, you start focusing on the way that you think and feel especially about yourself, that's when the manifestations come. That's also when you start realizing, really, honestly, what thoughts have been holding you back. I know that that's been my journey. That's been my journey. That's why I can say it. I started manifesting so much quicker when I spent more time focusing on developing myself, having better thoughts, having better feelings, right? Because your thoughts create your feelings. So spending more time on that, spending more time on thinking about the person that I need to become to be the person in line with what I desire and building my self-concept and building my self-worth to become that. And that, my friends, is a practice, but it's not trying. It's actually being. It's focusing on being that person. It's focused on being the person with those thoughts, being the person with that new natural assumption, being the person with the new dominant state. It's the person that feels it as real. You see it and you feel it as real just as much as your 3D. You stop trying and you become and you practice this vibration. You practice this thought. You practice these feelings. You practice these states. You go into those states. You use SATs. You use affirmations to help you become better with you. And when you become better with you, your 3D will reflect it. It's a mirror. It's an outpicturing. Your, think of it this way. When you train your thoughts and feelings, when you train your mind, when your thoughts work for you and not the other way around, you don't have monkey brain, your thoughts literally get focused and they show up like a movie projector on the screen of the 3D in front of you. You're not trying anymore. You're being. Your wish fulfilled and you have become one. Time has collapsed. You're on a new timeline, however you want to look at, and your manifestation is here. You stop trying your being. That's it. It's finished. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.